everybody welcome back we're doing another marvel future revolution video in this one we're going to do a couple different things related to special badges that we just got from the magneto invasion that just ended so you probably got a bunch of mats left over and you're wondering what should i do with them we're going to explore that a little bit specifically kind of in detail of what i'm doing and i'll talk you through that and at least through my thought process also going to look at part of that is which one of these is the best special badge certainly subjective a little bit but i'll give you my thoughts because that certainly helps determine the part that i mentioned at the front of that so if you're new to the channel check out the discord link in the description below hammer down like buttons click notification bells all that sort of thing let's check it out bring me wolver thor Okay, first, uh, best special badge. All right, so I, I've got this thing that was pulled from the uh, blog or whatever the developers note when they did this. We've got uh, one through six, right? So you guys can see these here. The bot, uh, f f um, four, five, four, five, and six are all sort of, well, Stam's not. F uh, four and five are defense related. One, two, and three are all offense related. And then six is the Stam one. Now for me, um it's tough because some of these can change based on your character and two dependent on the build of your character for instance i used to very much care about stamina i don't anymore i need cooldown nothing's on here and i as a widow currently uh don't care about defense or dodge rate all that much i mean i, I i'll take them but it's not something i'm super worried about however attack and definitely skill damage i care about crit damage um, I don't care as much about because I typically am capped in this. So for me, the second one is sort of like, eh, but I think typically that's something that people will look at. For me, while I still think that um, I haven't seen some testing 100% uh, on this or like solidified with the skill damage one, I look at that as another multiplier. Uh, if it's not a multiplier, if it's just like if you do 1,000 damage and now you're doing 1,004, then that's a terrible badge. It is the worst badge in the world. Um, but from what we've seen so far, it seems to be a multiplier. If anybody knows for sure, please do comment below with any sort of documentation that you've got as well. Videos are super helpful. Uh, so having said that, as an offensive player, I sort of like three the best. Um, one maybe a little bit with that. Crit damage is nice, but I just, it, it's not a lot. Um, I don't know. And for a widow specifically, I, I get, I'm already pretty much a cap, so I'm not going to stress about that. Defense and dodge, I already mentioned. Stamina is the one that I think a lot of people are going to say, no, I like this one the best. So for me, it's probably three and six. If I'm like forgetting who I'm playing, it's just three and six. And then after that, I'm probably going to go one one two four i don't know these two i mean dodge is sort of falling off a bit um and it's a low percentage so i'll probably say four or five but either way those are the bottom two so having said that i need to see which one i'm going to do with my stuff like what do i got left so before we get there what i'm going to pull up is a uh spreadsheet and again um i'll zoom in on this Shout out to Ravager Britcher who originally put this together. So above me here, what I've got is, um, and I still actually got to do the, I got to fill in this one section to double check and we can do that a little bit in game. But what this is, is a, um, a chart that shows specifically how much you get from each one of these. I changed Ravagers a little bit so you could see the total gold and you can see the total seals to get to a certain point uh, as opposed to just individually. Because one of the things that I'm going to be doing here is I need to make a decision on what, how far do I want to go down a particular path. So I'm going to go, we're, we're going to hop in game. We're going to look one at what the one costs are. I don't remember. It might be borderline nothing. Uh, and I've got, I think, three alloys and I'll have to check how many seals I've got. And that's going to be the decision at hand here. And this is really the part where I'm going, what do you want to do with the rest of your either alloys or seals? All right, so let's just look and see what you go to special badge creation event. Uh, let's just see if I do want a one star. So it's it's the one alloy, three seals, 50K gold, and 10 of the Convergium. So if you jump back to the spreadsheet, it didn't change it all that much. Uh, you can see I added the threes, the gold. You know, as you can kind of go through this, you, you get the idea of how exactly all this stuff works, okay? I didn't do totals for a gym because I didn't want to convert all these over. 
Uh, but seals, you get the idea of how much that is. It's a lot, right? So now let's go back in the game and see what I'm even looking at, frankly, because I'm not certain what I've got. So let's get off of this and just let's just look first how many things do i have i have three alloys so okay so that just alloys alone i i could um let's see here alloys alone i could do up to i could create a new one or i can take a current one up to three 6.3 a seals which is the most important is 679 so um i could take one up to 6.3 or actually, no, 6.2, because I'll run out of alloys. So I could take it to 6.2, and I'd have seals left over. Um, Man, that would be frustrating if I didn't get that, right? So, so this is my thought. I already know what's some in my bag here. So I've got 679. I could do one 679 minus... 100 is five yeah all right so what i'm looking at here all right so now let's to help you guys understand what i'm thinking in my head so what do i got what do i have so this is the only one i have equipped so far right is this one it's uh it's and actually you know what let's make sure we let's go to our let's go to our pvp build first because we like to do that uh it's a little bit easier so we've got that in there uh and what we want to do is right now i know i'm looking at you know one and i've got this one currently and as i looked at this i didn't love that i was missing defense pierce but um i'm also just barely capped on defense pierce and i might be able to uh, as i nano up uh, my gear my headpiece specifically i've got two more steps in that i'll get some more defense pierce out of that so it's kind of like i mean it's not a lot but it's a little bit so i'm sitting here looking okay and on top of that depending where this shakes out i could plug in a core here so this defense pierce and this one if you like let's just equip it and see if it shows the change right uh it probably won't show it well no i hate when it does that so let's just look at defense pierce so defense pierce is i'm at 77.4 so i'm still over versus uh which one we had on here here see it oh so look at all those all right, so it didn't go 77.4. So I lose, or I, I actually gain 1% defense pierce on that. So if you look at that, so I can go to this, like, and all I need is like one green core and it replaces everything here. Now my attack is basically, I, I go down in attack, oddly enough. It'll go up as I bring it up a little bit. Um, but, uh, I also have this attack core. So the cores on this though, that's the problem. Like I'd love to gain a little accuracy, but I also lose crit rate. So I'm like, okay, so that's a look at now the other one we were looking at, uh, two, three, I've already got my three here too. Like, all right, what do we got in the two range? Oh, okay. So there's some of that crit rate, but it's got a, it's got a blue badge on it as well. Now this one I like a lot because it's got, look at how much more attack it is than the one I've currently got. That's way, way higher. Then, you know, accuracy rate, you know, I picked up on the first one. Crit damage, is, um, I guess I'd have to look at a calculator to see what that is, but this is gonna, this is gonna be percentage based, so it should over time be higher. And then I, but I do lose guard damage, which is like, okay, now again, like if I can get a green core here, it's good. So in my mind, and honestly, I need to write this down because I'm not forgetting it, is, you know, bring uh, badge two to you know 6.1 and for good cores that's what i'm thinking is like do i get good cores there if i do that then it's like okay if i get good cores there then maybe i swing back over to one and look at this and do the same thing because i get a good crit rate one i can equip come back here you know and i don't have to worry about defense pierce and then i bring this one up as well right so do we bring this one up to six for one I think after that, if I do that, I lose two of my three alloys. Um, but I should have plenty of seals to play with. But the alloy, then I then have only one alloy left, right? As you guys remember, I've got this one, like I've got three total. And if I if I remember correctly, like there's no there's no way to buy alloys in here, right? There's no, you know, events, draws, like there's nothing. It's it's just this is all 
there's no alloys and that's part of this invasion thing this is why they want it to be hard to get those i do not have a problem with that frankly it's like these are meant to be worthwhile to spend your alloys appropriately uh perks again i don't think there's anything in here that you know you're going to be able to find any of those um any of those alloys so question becomes question becomes here what to do so now what else do we have we were looking at you know uh we were looking at one we were looking at four mainly because or yeah one two three four uh now four remember we didn't love that one on the chart did we no i don't think so i'm double checking here four was defense which isn't bad um we were ended up switching over to the stats so it's like all right well didn't you say six was the best all right yeah you're right you know what i did say six is the best so i look here and this is the other part I was thinking about. I actually love this batch. I love it. But I need cooldown really bad. Um, I really, really need some cooldown. So, and if I, and you can see there's all gauge here to difference. What's the difference between 20, and there's a ton poor HP there, 3000 HP. Like, that's nice. Uh, Stam recovery is nice, but losing all that cooldown, I don't know. I don't know. So the question is without it, my alt gauge, my alt gauge is 129. And what's my cooldown? 129 and basically 30 percent so if we switch that all right it went up four percent for the cooldown and or for the ultimate gauge and i lose a couple percent of um a couple percent of the cooldown and it's not high but it's kind of like all right so is that worth it is that worth that hp gain is it worth that stam gain maybe it is maybe it's not i don't know um I, I like the idea of it especially as a widow and if i have to lean more into doing more ultimates yeah i think this is something that's like well i need to alt and sort of hide a little bit so my cooldowns will always be up um and i'll just get my ultimates faster i like that i, I wouldn't have to touch this badge because of the cores they're already good i can just take those cores over and just be like all right that's good everything else here's good so that's sort of where i'm at you can see the stuff there is just defense that i crit rate i guess crit rate was on that um oh yeah because the core i was like what um but that would that would be equivalent so that's where we're at five you know i i have this one um again i don't want to lose additional cooldown uh this one i mean again if i want to go into it with a lot more alt gauge like okay that's even more alt gauge uh, I don't know. And then this one, I didn't ever get a four here. Um, so yeah, so this is sort of where I'm at. Um, I'm, what was I looking at? The two? Yeah, the two is the one I was looking at. So this is the one for the crit damage that I was checking out earlier as well. So now what, what the question is what to do. So I'm just going to look through these a little bit. I'll probably speed through this part, chime in with some thoughts here and there, but I just need to I'm basically just going to study these. I don't want to sit here and necessarily talk to you the whole time. I'm just going to look at the numbers, kind of try to get my head wrapped around it, and then come back to you and kind of give you my thoughts as I go. Or at the end. I I don't know. You, who knows what with me? You know. Okay. So I think I know what I'm going to do here. And you guys are going to be along on the ride for me. So first off, um, three, this is good. I'm good with this. There's nothing to do there. I got it to five. I was like super stoked when I got that. Pretty solid. You know, yay team. Four, I got nothing there. I could build up one from scratch, but you know, we would at most get to like a plus one or two and then I couldn't do anything more with the other ones. And frankly, this badge isn't that bad. It's got, you know, crit damage decrease, two green cores. So it's not bad. Um, one or six, six here. Um, I could leave this as is and core it up. I would, uh, especially since it's a, a jump from a 105 badge, which is pretty good. I do lose some cooldown there, which uh, not a lot, but a little bit. Same thing with five. What I could do here, uh, I could switch from this one to this one. And I lose about 1% cooldown on that as well. But, you know, if I bring it up, maybe it could, the stats will get a little bit higher. I don't know how much they jump each step. And then just hope for good cores and uh besides that it's two and one it's these two it's bring this up see if i could get good a good roll bring this one up see if i can get a good roll so but i only have three three bring ups in the point one so i think i've excluded i'm not going to roll a new one i'm i'm definitely not going to do that um man it's in so it's really between these one and twos and 
six. So I think six is my biggest upgrade here. Um, I could go get a good six um, because these are, that one's actually pretty good too. The six and the two are the best upgrades. Whereas this one's, it's a decent upgrade, but not a huge upgrade. And two is sort of tied with one. So I'm thinking that for now, I think I want to take the six, get that up a bit and sort of go from there. Um, because, you know, in the five, I mean, it's funny, even though those, it's about the stats and stuff I was talking about, you know, six is Stam, which isn't bad. Five is Dodge rate, which is okay. You know, and one and two were the ones with the damage. And this is where you have to balance this stuff. It's like, well, hold on a second. You're talking stats. In the front end, you were talking about all these increases in the abilities if you get to plus one. It's a balance. This game's a balance. You got to figure out that balance. And each character's different, right? It's, I mean, you guys could do this totally different um, than how I might do it. Now, part of me is, um, I, I like that this one, it's the biggest upgrade and it's a stam but I don't necessarily have to do it. I just switched the course, so that's great. Cool, right, we're there. Five, I don't love those cores. Bring it up, bring it up to change the cores. I could do this one and one and two. Problem is if I do this one, then I only get one chance on one and two, which I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that. Um. And five, five is the dodge rate. This increases my HP by, you know, what is that? Minus 300, so like, uh, 1700. Again, I lose a percent cooldown. I get, uh, I get, uh, I even get another actually 200 HP from the HP in the bonus stat. I lose some stam recovery there. This is a decision. This is, I'm just thinking through this. And just for, you know, logging this in beforehand, this is where we're at right now, okay? Just log the stats so you can see it, where everything's at. Wanted to look at that so I don't forget it for later. I mean, that crit damage actually could go up a little bit in this build. In PvE, it's it's basically cap, but in this build, it could come up a little bit. Uh, that crit rate really took a hit, too. Between the one and the two, you know, I like, I like the... <sighs> I need more crit rate. Um, the crit damage is sort of whatever. Uh, the, I like the attack jump here. I like the attack jump there versus what I'm seeing here. And between crit damage and the attack percentage, now that's the thing is the attack percentage can be increased in this and only in the basically uh, right at the start of a match, essentially, or anytime you are, are sitting there at full, you've got that increased uh, attack percentage. And it's for seven seconds with a 25% cooldown. So that's 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 every once in a while. Whereas if I do this one, my attack gain here is all the time on every single attack and crit rate. So what I'm gonna do, I'm, I've decided. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take the two. I'm gonna start there and I'm gonna see what I get on this first roll and that might determine what I do on the rest of them. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna go to the plus one, select it. All right, so there we go. All right, so I think I had it equipped, um, and now we we unlock it, and just keep our fingers crossed here. Um, again, this is going to be. Let's double check. So we're looking at the two. Again, I'd hate to screw that up, right? I do this video about how to do it, and then end up doing the. That's the. That's the. Yeah, the two. We like the jump there. We like the crit rate increase. You know, accuracy. We're hoping to pick up on the other one. Uh, just a lot of attack here. So the two is what we're doing. And if the two rolls well, I think we're probably going to go into the one. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. It's just got to feel this thing out. So come up to the plus one. Select it. Select it. 400k gold. Now, mind you, the other one that I brought up to these levels, it didn't turn into anything worthwhile until I got to plus five. So my expectations are low here. But let's see what happens. Plus one. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. Ooh, now the question is, um, do you go to the plus one or to the, uh, the one instead? Now we're looking at this one. You know, it's like, should I consider this one something? 
I don't know. I don't think so. I think I think I think I keep going into the two, right? Two blues. Next will be two yellows. You watch. Yellow, as they say, I guess. Um, so we'll just we're gonna stick with the two. We're in bed with the two right now, as they say. Is they do they say that? I don't know. I don't know what they say. You better. You better. Do me right. You better. <sighs> yeah! All right. Two green cores. Oh, you did me right. You did me right. All right. So that is going to get equipped for Sheezy, my DZ. Stop right there. Do not do anything more at all. All right, so we're gonna go look at that. Now we will be losing a crit rate core there, but, 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 if we equip this, let's see what our crit, let's see. So actually, hold on. So what is our crit rate right now? 57.8. So we do, we lose 3% crit rate there. That's a lot. That is a lot of crit rate to lose. So, um. You, I would de I would definitely be looking at yeah you gotta get that crit rate later now I love now let's see what our defense peer how far off our defense peers are we right now wow we're actually we're capped so that would be full crit damage interesting interesting wow. I don't want any more green cores I really don't this is sort of crazy so that's what I'm looking at next. So I don't, I mean, wow, 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 wow. Not even using, so I'm, I'm capped with D pierce. If I do this, it's fine. It's like, okay, I lose that, but I lose so much crit rate and I'm gaining so much crit damage. I don't know if I want to switch this at this point, frankly, I don't think I do. I really don't think I do. The other one I talked about um, using was this one, but I don't want to. I don't want to do anything with that, right? All right, look. I got to look at it again a bit. Oh, that's like negligible. So I was just looking at that that one there, where it's kind of like so th switching between crit rate here. All right, so at this point we're between five and one. So five, and it's about a re-roll in either one of them. Um, I actually don't think I want to re. Uh, I'm going to get a lot of crit damage, I think, here. Because, I mean, we're, we're capped at D-Pierce, right? So I've got this already equipped, and I have no cores in it. So I'm going to get capped at crit damage, or I'm sorry, defensive pierce. My crit damage is going to come way up. Um, and then... You know, so I come here and it's like, well, but you need crit rate, right? So my crit rate's only 54.8%. Um, I don't want to lose that out of those. And if with this, I would lose it and I'd only be gaining crit damage. Whereas, which I'm going to get a ton of. Whereas here, I lose a little bit of cooldown, um, but I just gain some stam and um, I'll get more alt gauge in this, which again with Widow is very helpful and I get a bunch more HP out of this than the other one. So I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, use my alloy on this and sort of see where it ends up. I think it's I think it's worthwhile. While I don't love what was five again, it was dodge rate. It's like, okay, like I'm not really into that. The one, I mean, gosh, that's the thing though. Yeah, you know what? It's it's a full-time thing versus a part-time thing. Well, this I like the part-time stat on this better. The full-time stats change here. I don't necessarily like the change. I lose way too much crit rate on this. Um, while I like losing a defense pierce and going to this, my crit damage is going to go up quite a bit. I just I can't lose the crit rate. I just can't. Uh, let's see. And how many... How many do I, alloys do I have left? One, right? I think I just have one left. Yeah, one alloy left. Literally it. So I might not even get a good uh, roll here. And, you know, with one, because... I don't want to do that. With the one... 
because I already have such a good badge and like it's just the, the difference here is just very very incremental versus going here and actually getting quite a bit better HP um, HP there you get a th another 300 the cooldown change on five I only lose 1% cooldown um, but I'm going to gain a whole so I'm getting I, I gain a bunch of HP I gain a bunch of alt recovery and I only lose a 1% cooldown in the stam recovery one isn't really a big problem for me and I just gained some of my other badge so five is going to be the answer for me even though I didn't love the the stat on it we're just going to see I mean I, I don't think I'm going to get anything good here um but we'll see I wouldn't want to roll this one up a lot anyway um but we're going to see where it shakes out this is the final one this is my last alloy I can do nothing besides this too late already clicked the button where are you going to get me? I would love double reds on this. I want double reds. You know what I'm going to get is double yellows. Ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for the double yellows? Wow. Wow. I need to go. I mean, that I would have loved double reds. A red and a green is just amazing. So I am... Those rolled about as good as I could expect. Honestly, I'm happy I recorded this, the show. Do not expect that to happen for yourself. Frankly, um, I, it's just not. So I'm gonna absolutely equip that. I am absolutely managing these cores out of it. And we're gonna we're gonna switch all this, or actually, let's see what we're at defense, what Pierce wise. So I'm gonna start playing. So where's my defense Pierce? Still over capped. All right, so we're just, guess what? Manage cores, we're taking all that out. Extract. Now I knew I wanted to swap this one. All right, let's see. Let's see where the stats are right now. Well, let's, let's just get the let's get the crit rate on there. Um, do I want defense pierce on that? I might need it. Uh, yeah, I'm a few percent short there, so we'll see. And then yeah, that was that was it. So, um, so I need to equip a bunch of. Let's go find what I've got in my bank. So I need one more green core. My crit damage is at 290. My defense pierce is just short. So that is absolutely a defense pierce equip. 290, just over crit or defense cap. My crit rate, I don't like. I need to, re I really need to be able to increase that somehow. Um, Cooldown is a little low for my liking, 26. My all gauge is at 138.4. Attack, 26, almost 2,700, not huge, but okay. HP, 131. So it's okay. I mean, my power went up a bit. What was I, 155 or 158 or something like that. So I gained like 40K power, not too bad. Now, last thing, I'm just gonna look and see how this is in my PVE build. See, you know, I already, I can already tell, like, I'm already at cap with my crit damage. So I would have to, on my PVE build, change my specializations. Now, I could go, oops, where, that's not what I want. Oh, oh yeah, that's right, I kept that one. I was like, what's happening? Um, So crit damage, I'm losing, but I gained some crit rate, a little bit, but, um, this one is obviously I got to make that switch. This one I got to make that switch. So really the question becomes on this one, do I want to keep this one or that one? You know, it's a one, well, one four now. Um, I'm definitely going to have to do something there. My crit rate's almost 60, you know, what's it? 60%. What, what does this do for me? Let's see. It's show me what I get or gain. Probably not. I hate how it doesn't do that. I think when I switch it back, though, let's see. So three, I, I gain 3%. I lose 3% crit rate when I go to this. Um, But my crit damage is now 319. So I would, in theory, have to go here into my specializations and ditch one of these, which uh, um, I'm not even sure which one I'd want to get rid of, honestly. This one is less important, but you know, it's, I mean, maybe that one, I guess. 
And so I would switch maybe that one for this one where it increases my max crit so that I could, um, you know, actually get it increased by another, you know, 45 or 50%. I don't need that final one right now because it's not at 350. But uh, that might be something I consider. Maybe I, I um, take this off and use this one when I do PVE. This might be what I have to do. Now, the hard part about that is, though, is it doesn't, that's not in your presets. So, but I, I, this is a pretty solid PVE situation. Um, again, decent attack. Crit rate is still pretty solid. I'd normally like it a lot higher. Uh, again, I'd want to I'd want to make sure I can take advantage of that extra 20% there. Super villain damage is capped. Total damage, I'd love to get up more. All these things. So anyway, that's where I'm at. Long video. Uh, I hope this has helped with you guys. We'll see where this all shakes out in the end. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how those ruled out. Uh, I, I don't know how it's going to, you know, show in game, but I'll definitely test it. Appreciate you guys hanging out this long. Hammer down like buttons, click notification bell, subscribe, that sort of thing. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.